Hello and welcome to the match build-up of the World Cup Final, and Argentina are in the final of the FIFA World Cup after defeating the Croatia in the semifinals, in which Argentina played their one of the best match at this World Cup so far, and Argentina will face reigning champion, France in the final for the ultimate glory, and now it's a World Cup Final and we have so much to talk about it, and I will also talk about the Argentina's performance in the semifinals against Croatia and of course about the World Cup Final which is to be played against France on Sunday, so let's get on with it. So the match against Croatia started pretty good for both the side and as expected Croatia kept the ball more in their possession than Argentina but in 32nd minutes of the game, Croatian goalkeeper Livakovic brings down Alvarez with a clumsy challenge and concedes a penalty and as always Messi steps up to the spot and sweeps his penalty into the top right corner and scores statistically one of the best penalty of this World Cup and there was no one stopping that. And with this goal Messi surpasses Gabriel Batistuta and became the highest goal scorer for Argentina at the FIFA World Cup. And in the 39th minute of the game, Alvarez gets the ball from Messi on the halfway line and he continues his run and leaves almost every defender behind. And with a slight luck he buries the ball into the net from a close range and doubles the lead of Argentina. And after the beautiful assist from Messi in the Netherlands match, this time he comes up with even more special as Messi dazzles one of the best defender at this World Cup. Gavardial on the right side and Messi assists the Julian Alvarez for his second goal of the night and fourth of the tournament. And with this Argentina comfortably seals the spot into the final. And with this match surely, Luka Modric's era came to an end. What a care he had and he got the applaud from both sides of the fans when he came out as substitute. And in the end it was all about respect among the players unlike Netherlands. And yet again it was vintage Messi and classy Argentina who gets past the Croatia with a comfortable victory in the semifinals. But now Argentina will face France in the World Cup final for the trophy as they also have progressed after defeating the great Morocco by 2-0 in the semifinals. And this match is going to be a big step up for both the teams as one of the best players of the tournament are going to face each other in the final to determine who comes out as the number one. And when we look at the road to the final of both the teams, France started really well against Australia and they kept their momentum against Denmark as well. And after securing the place in the round of 16, France played their B team in the final match of the group stage in which Tunisia won against defending champion. And in the round of 16, they won comfortably against Poland by 3-1. But in the quarterfinals and semifinals, France got tested by England and Morocco, but they came out as winner in both the clash. And right now, they are into the World Cup final. But as for Argentina, they started their World Cup campaign with a shocking defeat against Saudi Arabia. But Argentina have managed to win their remaining two matches of the group stage against Mexico and Poland to qualify for round of 16. And in the round of 16, Argentina won against Australia after fighting until the last seconds of the match. And it was the same story against Netherlands in the quarterfinals in which winner was decided by the penalty shootout. But in the semifinals, Argentina totally outplayed Croatia in terms of productivity and secures the place in the final of FIFA World Cup. And the final match is also going to be Messi versus Mbappe, as both the players are heading into the final to compete against each other for the golden boot, and for the golden ball as well, as they both have five goals each on their name and it is going to be very competitive as both the players are having amazing tournaments so far. And in the interview Dembele talks about Messi and he says that, It is going to be very difficult to stop Messi on Sunday, but we'll do our best to make sure he touches the ball as little as possible because he's a very dangerous player. And after the game against Morocco, Theo Hernandez says that, that. Messi doesn't scare us. We know Argentina have an incredible team. We need to recover well to be at our best on Sunday. And France coach Didier Deschamps speaks about Messi in his interview and says, Four years ago, Messi played mostly as a right winger and false striker, but now he is like an attacking midfielder and has a lot of freedom on the field. This makes it very difficult and complicated to stop him. And Argentinian coach Lionel Scaloni talks about the France and World Cup final in his interview and says, Tomorrow's game is Argentina versus France. It is beyond Messi and Mbappe. I have already decided our formation against France. There is little time is left to decide how we are going to play against them. The idea is to be able to hurt them and suffer as little as possible. And Argentina have played against France at the last World Cup in round of 16 match in which France knocked out Argentina in a thrilling match by 4 or three. And in the head-to-head -head record in the World Cup, Argentina have played three times against France and won two matches out of three. And this time Argentinian team is more solid than the last time and it will be an interesting match. And the team news of France is that there are some worries about players like Varane and Kane having caught flu, but I think they will be monitored before Sunday and the team of France which played against England is highly likely to restart in the World Cup final against Argentina and Griezmann, Dembele, Giroud, Kylian Mbappe and Theo Hernandez are the players who are performing for France throughout the tournament and can hurt Argentina in any moment. And as for Argentina's team news so, Acuna will be in the starting lineup after missing the semifinals due to suspension. 
but it is not determined about Di Maria whether he will start or not, because if he does then Argentina will play with 4-4-2 formation, but if Di Maria does not start in the final then I think Argentina will go with 5-3-2 formation in which Lisandro Martinez will accompany Ademendi and Christian Romero in three men defense, and Captain Lionel Messi, Alvarez, Rodrigo De Paul, Emiliano Martinez and Enzo Fernandez are Argentina's star performers throughout the World Cup and could make difference against France in the World Cup final. And now it's a World Cup final, and Argentina should be very careful about it as millions of hopes are with them as they will go against France in which more than a World Cup trophy is at stake. But could Lionel Messi delivers for Argentina yet again for the last time at this World Cup and seals a historic win for Argentina, and can he become a world champion? We will see tonight, and until then, goodbye, see you very soon.